In this video, we are going to see all types of temperature sensors installation methods. Before you watch this video please subscribe to our YouTube channel this will help us from make more informative videos. Welcome to the Controls and Systems YouTube channel. Temperature Immersion Sensors for Water Ensure that the full active length of the sensor is immersed in the medium. Incorrect installation. Chilled water and refrigeration pipes. To prevent condensation, extend the immersion pocket inside the lagging by use of a plastic sleeve. The hole in the lagging must be sealed, to prevent the ingress of moisture. Water resistant seal. Install sensors against the direction of flow. Incorrect installation. Install at the correct angle. If the active length of the sensor probe is longer than the diameter of the pipe, the sensor should be installed diagonally, or in a bypass pipe or bend. The inlet side of the bypass pipe should project into the main pipe. Maintain a clearance, distance A, between the sensor and any obstruction, so that there is room to remove the sensor from the immersion pocket. For each sensing point, an additional immersion pocket, adjacent to the sensor, must be provided for test purposes. Install outlets temperature sensors directly at the heat exchanger outlet. Sensors mounted without immersion pockets or with slotted or perforated immersion pockets must be identified accordingly. Attach a label marked, installed without immersion pocket. When mixing water at different temperatures, always maintain an adequate distance between the mixing point and the sensor, to take account of stratification. Temperature cable sensors for water, the sensor element is not affected by orientation but must be fully immersed in the medium to be measured, air or water. Use a file to ensure a smooth, clean contact surface, and fill the space between the sensor and the pipe with heat conductive compound to improve thermal conductivity. Temperature probe sensors for air, ensure that the full length of the sensor probe is exposed to the air flow. A test hole must be provided adjacent to every sensor. Do not use probe type sensors in areas where stratification can occur, for example downstream of mixing dampers, heating coils, cooling coils or heat recovery units. Averaging sensors should be considered. Temperature capillary sensors with probes, install so that the device head is higher than the sensor probe. The sensor probe should be tilted downwards. The ambient temperature at the device head must always be higher than the temperature to which the sensor probe is exposed. The sensor element must always point downwards. Do not allow the capillary to form a U-shape. Do not bend the capillary too tightly. Radius of bend must not be less than 50 mm. When routing the capillary through internal or external walls, for example, always use a lined and insulated conduit. Any unused length of capillary should be neatly rolled. Where the capillary passes through sheet metal, protect it with a rubber grommet, to prevent shearing. Temperature averaging sensors, allow a distance of at least 50 mm between the heat exchanger and the sensor. The entire length of an averaging sensor must be installed fully inside the air duct. The sensor element must be distributed evenly over the full cross section. If air washers are used for humidification, install the sensor element downstream of the eliminator plate, in the direction of air flow. Do not bend the capillary too tightly, radius of bend must not be less than 50 mm. When routing the capillary through internal or external walls, for example, always use a lined and insulated conduit. Where the capillary passes through sheet metal, protect it with a rubber grommet. To prevent shearing, install the sensor element using capillary supports. Temperature frost protection sensor for air, leave a spare capillary loop of 20 cm so that functioning can be tested outside the unit. If the supply ductwork is outdoors or in an unheated space, then both the measuring head and the test loop of the thermostat must be located inside the duct and downstream of the heat exchanger. Install the capillary in the direction of air flow, downstream of the first water-filled heating coil exposed to frost. The capillary must be installed diagonal to the heat exchanger pipes. When installing on drawer-type units, 
ensure that the electrical connections are long enough to enable the units to be pulled out. If a water-filled cooling coil is installed upstream of the first heat exchanger, then the frost protection thermostat must be installed upstream of the cooling coil, in the direction of the airflow. Do not bend the capillary too tightly, radius of bend must not be less than 50 mm. When routing the capillary through internal or external walls, for example, always use a lined and insulated conduit. Where the capillary passes through sheet metal, protect it with a rubber grommet, to prevent shearing. Any unused length of capillary should be neatly rolled. Use spacing clips to maintain a 50 mm clearance. Install the sensor element using capillary supports. With large heat exchangers, or with heat exchangers comprising several units, more than one frost thermostat must be installed, minimum one per unit. Temperature room sensor. Install sensors at a height of 1.5 meters in occupied spaces, and at least 50 centimeters from the adjacent wall. Do not install where sensor will be exposed to direct solar radiation. Always use a thermally insulated backing when fitting to solid walls, steel, concrete etc. Do not install on external walls. Avoid recesses, for example shelving, and alcoves. Do not install near lamps or above radiators. Avoid chimney walls. Do not install directly adjacent to doors. Do not install behind curtains. Do not fit to walls concealing hot water pipes. Seal gaps between cable, plastic tubing and conduit. Otherwise measurements will be falsified by incorrect circulation of the air. Temperature outdoor sensors. The system design determines the facades. N, S, E, W, on which the sensor should be located. Do not expose to direct solar radiation. Do not install on facades affected by significant rising heat. Do not install on facades warmed by solar radiation. Avoid chimney walls. Do not install under eaves. Do not install above windows. Do not install above ventilation shafts. Seal gaps between cable plastic tubing and conduit. Otherwise measurements will be falsified by incorrect circulation of the air. Do not paint the sensor. Ensure accessibility, for inspection slash testing. Temperature outdoor cable sensor. The same rules apply to outdoor cable sensors as to any other outdoor sensors. The cable should be connected from below, to protect it from dripping water. Temperature surface sensor. The surface must be clean and smooth, remove paint. The sensor must be fixed firmly to the surface. Use heat conductive compound. Important, avoid exposure to external heat gains. Consider cable length when fitting to windows which can be opened. The sensor must be fixed directly to the window surface. The sensor must be fixed directly to the surface. Use heat conductive compound. When mixing water at different temperatures, always maintain an adequate distance between the mixing point and the sensor, to take account of stratification. Temperature wind sensor, install on the facades exposed to the main wind direction. Make sure the sensor is accessible, for inspection slash testing. Do not install under eaves. Do not install in recesses. Temperature solar sensor. Install solar sensors on the facades behind, which the associated control system is operative. Install the sensor where it is easily accessible, for inspection and testing. Avoid shade, from trees or neighboring houses etc. If you want more details please follow our blog, well we hope this video is useful to you. Thank you for watching our video we will meet in, in another good video.